Good evening, Otter Creek, Florida, and the Shady Bunch Facebook group, along with DJ Rada supporters. After our last show went live, I was directly contacted by the garden gnome shark Michelle had mentioned during her interview and wanted to clear some things up. Thank you, Mr. Gnome, for getting in contact with us so quickly. What did you need to say to clear your name? Amen, that woman was snorting the good shit that night. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden I was yanked out of my garden bed and appeared in her dreams. She was doing lines of cocaine and even had swallowed an acid tab in her dreams. I'm assuming that by doing the wombo combo of both acid and cocaine, it somehow made me appear. So Mr. Gnome, you were saying Sharp Michelle was getting high as a kite in her dreams. She was higher than a kite. Hell, NASA probably could have contacted her for the next space mission. She was that high. So what happened next? I peered around the room in her dreams and saw a notice board she had on the wall. There was a piece of paper attached to it saying Otter Creek. Before I knew it, she asked me how to be a better journalist than complaining that no one believes her or takes her seriously. Interesting. Anything else you would like to add? Before I began to answer her, a strong odor of shit had filled the room in the dream. I now know why they call her Sharp Michelle. I told her some bullshit about a golden key and needing to find it, hoping I'd never have to come in contact with her or hear about it again. Oh, how I was so wrong. Well, thank you, Mr. Gnome, for clarifying all this for us. Thank you for the real in-depth view into Shart's mind and recreational drug usage. It really does explain a lot now. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Well, maybe a few times, but who's really counting? By the way, if you love the video, make sure you click subscribe to support DJ Radis. Like the video and share it about and even leave him a comment.